Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jenna, and today I have a little bit of a different video than what I normally do. Today I'm going to be doing a story time video. As you can tell by the title, you probably already know what this is about. Um, side note, this is new. Well, it's not new, it's my wall. Obviously, it's boring. But right now, I'm trying to redo this room, and it's going to take a while. So, for now, it's going to be this. I'm just going to jump right into it. I already had a flight booked to New York, and I was just planning on having a nice, relaxing vacation with my mom. I already knew what days I was going to be there, and I wasn't really planning on going. But I saw that the tickets for the show were being released and I was like I could try I mean it's probably impossible and so I had been trying on my laptop and my mom was trying on her laptop and we somehow got tickets for the day that we were there I don't know that's like impossible to do so fast forward to being there um, I went on the last day I was there, so I had like three days in New York to like get freaked out about it and get excited and pee my pants probably. Finally, Monday came along and I was literally so happy. I woke up at like six o'clock in the morning and then was like, are you ready to go? Like, let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Let me get one thing straight. I have loved Jimmy Fallon since he was on SNL. Like, I watched every episode of Late Night, most episodes of The Tonight Show. I, you know, convinced my mom we need to get there at like 8 in the morning. I got there super early in hopes of seeing him before the show, because I've heard that some people wait outside and he comes in the front doors. I don't know how that's possible, but he does, and you get to meet him there. And so I was waiting there, and I waited there for an hour, and I didn't see him, and it was literally 2 degrees outside, so... I got cold after an hour and I went inside. I was like, sorry, Jimmy, I need my toes not to freeze. The store used to be on the front level edge, but now it's in the middle. And basically I was waiting in that store, talking to someone who worked there, asking them like psychotic questions. Like, does Jimmy ever come in here? Have you ever seen him really talk to a fan? Is he nice? Is he like, is he as tall as I think he is? Is he, you know, just like, I'm sure she wanted to punch me in the face. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that she wanted to just sock me in the face. So, obviously, we were sitting there, and I was annoying the crap out of this lady. This woman came in with a Tonight Show badge, and, like, I was just, like... And so, I walked over to her, and I was like, Hi, I'm here for the show. And she's like, Eager much? And I was like, Yup. So, I got signed in, um, and then they said, come back in like four hours. If you're like in a city that's a normal size and someone says four hours, you're like, all right, I'll go home, take a shower, come back. When you're in New York, you're like, I can't go anywhere because it's gonna take me an hour to get there. And then I'll try to, you know, it's like a time warp. Like you get lost in time there and then you look up and you're like, oh shoot, I missed it. So I stayed in the Rockefeller. I went downstairs and ate at Witchcraft, which is freaking delicious. Basically worshiped the little card that I had that said The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And I basically was like, look what I have. Look. Finally, it was time. I scoped out the NBC store, what I wanted to buy later. Cause I brought $120 to spend at that store. And I spent. So after I spent all those hours just like lurking, I finally was able to go check in again. So I went up the spiral staircase in the NBC store, which now is not a thing, so that's weird. So I was up in this room that was like NBC shrine. All the colors of NBC, it had the peacock everywhere. Um, so then, you know, we had to get your IDs out and someone with the Tonight Show badge was standing up and they were like, hey, if you're under 16 and you're gonna try to get in the show, it's not gonna work. If you don't have your ID, it's not gonna work. If you have more than four people, it's not gonna work. If you're pregnant, you better hope you're gonna pee first because if you leave the studio at all, it's not gonna work, you're done. You, we see your phones, you're done. First of all, who would even try to sneak in here? Like, do they think that's gonna work? And then the people in front of me, they had five people and one of them was 15 years old. And so they got their IDs out and everything and they're like, did you not hear what I said? You have, you can't go unless she stays out. And they're like, well, we're not gonna leave our daughter out. Sorry, you're not going. Literally, who does that? So then they got my ID. They said, come back at three 
for your final check-in. All right, it was like noon, so we had a couple hours. So I just walked around more. We got back in line finally. So we get through the final check-in, which is basically like security. Like you can't have a bag. You, they have to check your pockets. You have to like do this and then beep, 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 you know. Then you wait again in the waiting room. And I was like, this is so much waiting. Having panic attacks because I am just so excited. All this waiting is killing me. So we finally reached the get ready to go in stage. And so this guy is giving us a talk about how we need to like how we need to act, how we need to behave. And so then there was this guy who worked there, and his name was I think Joey, and he was from Brooklyn. And I flirted with him like crazy because I knew he was the person who seated people. You know, Billy or Joey or whatever. I was like, I would love an aisle seat. Billy, Joey, whatever, was like, let's see what I can do. And I was like, thank you. And so I get up the elevator and you walk in this room and this is when I had a meltdown. The room is like panoramic video of just different episodes of The Tonight Show and just different pictures of him from SNL and late night. And I was like, this is real. I am not ready for it. Billy Joey was like, uh, I can see you now. And I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And so he walks me into the studio and I, my heart stops when I walk into the studio and I started bawling my eyes out. And he was like, how's this seat? And he gives me a freaking aisle seat. And I was like, it's good, yeah, it's fine, I'll take it. I was so embarrassed that I was crying that hard, but I couldn't stop. Then this guy came out to like entertain us before the show. I was just like, Shut up, show me Jimmy. Higgins comes out. And then the producer or something comes out. I don't really know. Who wants a free t-shirt? And everyone flips out and she throws it. And like, I caught it. And it was wrapped in this blue ribbon that is tied around my camera to keep me inspired. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And everyone pays attention. And they're like, pay really close attention. It's gonna go really fast. Don't watch the TVs that are everywhere. Watch Jimmy on stage because he's really gonna be there. And I was like, Oh my god, he's gonna be- The show's starting now. It was just quiet, and then the lights dimmed on the audience, and then the roots started playing. And Steve's like, live from studio to- You know, how he does that. My heart started beating so fast, I wanted to die. I thought I was actually gonna have a heart attack. He goes, here's your host, and I actually just got goosebumps. <laughs> I thought I could do this, maybe I can't. <laughs> and then the curtains start to open, and Jimmy Fallon comes out. And I absolutely lost it. I was screaming. A lot was happening. And basically, I don't really remember the monologue at all because I was in hysterics. It would be like, laugh. And I would just start bawling my eyes out, like on command. <laughs> and laugh so hard that I couldn't breathe and I had no idea what he said. I wasn't even listening, like I couldn't. I was like, listen, and I, all I could hear was like my heartbeat. I think Harry Connick Jr. was the first person to come out, which is like fine. I could not even fathom what was going on. And then Bradley Cooper came out and Bradley Cooper, <laughs> The show went on and I was just loving it. I feel like it literally was two seconds long. They were not lying when they said it was gonna fly. The musical guests came and they started playing and I was just like, Jenna, you're gonna, you're gonna hug him in like five minutes. It's fine, prepare yourself. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna think? What is gonna happen? Are you ready for this? I had something to say. I knew I was gonna say. I love your show. I've watched you since SNL. Keep up the good work. I look up to you as a comedian but that's not what I said. He was like maybe 15 people away from me. So then he runs up the top and he starts coming down my aisle and I was sweating and no one had hugged him yet. And I was like, am I gonna be able to hug him? And I made the decision that I was. I jumped out into the aisle and I starfished my legs and my arms. So I was like bawling, like blubbering. And he comes down the aisle and he's finally at me. I look up and he's like, hey pal, you wanna hug? And I was like, Oh man, oh man. I had like a huge headache from crying so hard. He hugged me and he literally like picked me up a little bit. And I was like, shut up. I was literally crying into his suit. Like I'm sure there were stains of my like eyeballs on his shoulder. Sorry. I was just like, okay, Jonah, say what you're gonna say. And I just go, <laughs> I love you. And he's like, I love you too. And he hugged me and then he smiled and then he continued on his way. And I just stood there like, and then my mom like pulled me down until I could sit down in the seat. I was literally the biggest mess I have ever been in my entire life. And everyone sitting like in front, diagonal, behind, over there, 
they were all like, are you okay, sweetie? Because I couldn't breathe. I was like choking. And Then the show ended and I literally needed help getting out. <laughs> An NBC person like helped me into the elevator. So we get down to NBC like where the stores are. My mom has to go to the bathroom and I'm like, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to lay on the ground. So I laid on the ground of the Rockefeller. Like I slumped on the wall and laid on the freaking ground. And a cop came up and was like, you can't lay here. And I was like, give me a minute, okay? I just saw Jimmy Fallon and I just, I can't. Okay, like I cannot handle this right now. And he was like, okay. And he walked away. I posted this photo of me tweeting Jimmy and I was like, thanks for the hug. I went to my hotel and took a shower and cried some more and then watched the show that night, which was cool to watch it. And this is a picture from the show. Here's me, you know, up here and Jimmy's over there. I didn't get a picture of him hugging me because um, NBC like went to credits before that happened. So that was my trip. I went back and I literally couldn't stop talking about it. You know when you go to a concert and then you're real sad? <laughs> I had that but like a million times worse. And I, okay, I had never met a celebrity before I met Jimmy Fallon. And Jimmy Fallon's like my number one celebrity next to Robert Downey Jr. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story time video. Um, I will probably be posting a couple more story time videos in the future. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and click the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of my videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!